Hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm Mikey07 and you are watching next episode of Scrap Mechanic. And this episode will be all about sci-fi. So you can see in the distance I made a huge tower I'll show later. But now let me show something else. Check this out. If you have seen my live streams you already know what they are. But if you haven't let me show it. So let's actually start with the... This tank is actually hover tank. I made it two uh, live streams ago and it can hover and it can even fly up in the sky but it's not really designed to fly. So yeah, let's get in and I will fly around then I'll show this guy which I also made in the uh, live stream. So let's get in. There should be the button here. Alright, let's get in. Close this one with the two. So you have four keys if I remember correct. Yeah, see you have four keys. Actually, let me leave them on the screen. So yeah, there is four keys. Uh, one is the master switch to enable the hovering. And actually, let me land again. Check out how the landing gear actually moves back in and out when you land. So when you turn on the hovering, see? They moves in at the front and at the back. And actually, I really like these new dust effects. I'm using this beta version of Scrap Mechanic. And they added this uh, dust on the ground. Actually, let me land it so it's stable again. So yeah, see? I really like this dust. They really add this this awesome awesome look when on even especially to the hovering things. So yeah, see? It can pretty stable hover on the same spot. Actually, I was testing before. And it could easily stay like this for hours without moving anywhere else or not flipping and so on. So number two, oh number two is for doors and check it out, listen, number three. See, you can even, even shoot with this thing. I added that turbo had somewhere deep inside, actually it's really compact. Well, it's, yeah, it's, I can call it compact, but it's also really complicated because there's a lot of stuff inside. Alright, and number 4 is to enable the flying mode and actually all it does is move the sensors, let me zoom in. See the sensors at the sides, they just rotate and they block the sensor and they become active and the sensor thing is really close to the ground and so it flies, so let's me, let me zoom out and see when I release it, it just falls to the ground. Actually, when you go out from the flying mode to the hovering mode, you really need to be careful because it's fly, uh, falls really fast and you really have to turn on the flying mode from time to time just to slow down for example let's try to I mean of course with W you just go forward and you stare with the right and mouse no but with the A and D to stare so see when I release the flying mode it just starts to fall down and you really have to enable the flying mode from time to time just so it doesn't hit the ground of course can recover after a bit that's that's how it look a lot better. So yeah, you can fly easily around. Let's fly around this building and I'll explain what this building is and what this small board will be. So let's go toward this building. Actually, it took quite a little while to make this building. Actually, it's a really, little really loud sound. Let me check if the sound is okay when I'm recording. All right, now it should be a lot better. So yeah, basically this building will be some sci-fi HQ. At, at start I want to add this uh, scrap mechanic logo at the front. You know this which is on the mug which they added in this beta version. But then I decided I will make some own logo or maybe I'll just copy it and we'll try to add it here. So yeah, this is some huge corporation and I really didn't build this whole building, I just made one wall and then copy at the windows and then attach it both sides both sides or four sides together and then it turned out like this but all right now let's fly back to the garage and actually i'll try to land it and i'll see how it turns out because actually it's a bit tricky to land it without stopping and trying again because when you start to stare i use a suspension glitch steer it's kind of keeps staring in if you release the button so i really have to Oh, I forgot to open it. Actually, let's use this moment and I will show the inside and then I will land at the end. 
because it's kind of laggy when you get in. Well, it's not that bad, but it's kind of few FPS drops and I don't really like it. So let's just uh, get inside. But first, as usual, let's just go around and I'll show what is what. So basically, it was just some my free imagination of how could sci-fi garage look like. Of course, I used some reference from the Google, but overall it was my few full free imagination. So yeah, this is how it looks from the outside and let's uh, get in. So here is the main entrance and I really like this window. I made it in my modern mansion and I really like it, so I added one here as well. Alright, let's get in the garage. So here is the doors and you can open it with this switch here. Then you uh, get inside and there's first thing which is uh, really cool for this building. See when you close the doors, check this light. See? It goes off when the doors close. Here is the sensor which, which is doing it. So yeah, when you open up the doors, see the light goes on and close it all oh, yourself. Alright, let's go further. So here is the main main control area for this whole thing so yeah this is how it looks from the inside and which i'm really proud of check out this chair i hope i'm the first one who made the office chair looking like this so yeah here is the new mug if you haven't seen it or you don't use the beta version just yet so yeah this is the logo which i want to add to this huge huge building here in the distance actually talking about this building let me show something let me get out I actually posted it on the Twitter as well. Check out this building, it looks kinda creepy in the distance, feels like a, someone is watching you. And when I was making this, it didn't feel really, very comfortable, even though this whole building is totally empty from the inside. So yeah, this is the logo which I thought to make at the front of the building. I also really like this office desk, it turned out pretty, pretty uh, good. So yeah, here is the mind switch to open this whole contraption. Let's just first go around and then I'll open as the last one and then I'll try to land this hover tank inside and also I'll show the spider web for the tank because it's actually really, really complicated and it's really tricky to make it how it is. So yeah, here is the service walkway, here are just some shelves. There's a lot of, lot of uh, details and so on. So yeah, this is how it looks from the inside. There's the stairs and I really wanted to add this walkway here at the start, it was going down here or this way. But then I decided to make it turn like this and it turned out even better. Of course there are these signs and there's ton of ton of details and both of these buildings will be on the Steam Warship as well. So you can download and check them as well, especially the hover tank. I got quite few requests to add it on the Steam Warship but I really did want to add it before I have made the episode so yeah it, here is the garage and now let's open up the doors here check it out see first the roof opens up and then the, after a few seconds the bottom part starts rising up and here is a mechanism how it how it works so yeah there's quite few uh, bearings to lift this thing at start i just made these two it was obviously too heavy so I had to add extra and actually I could have had extra here but I really wanted to keep it symmetrical so yeah let's leave it open I'll try to land my hover tank so let's watch one more time how it opens up so this is how to open let's actually get on the uh, platform and see how it goes up so this is how it looks actually you can't really get back inside so I'll just go from the inside I'll show this spider web so here is the spider if we can open up the doors and uh, let's close them so yeah here let me actually explain what is what so this here uh, at start i just added this controller for the look but then i decided to make it use of it and i added it for the doors so and all the real magic actually happens here there's quite a few things actually let me open up and i'll show how it looks and how it works actually it's quite how to explain how it works. Basically, there this sensor is for the delay, so only the doors opens first and then the uh, platform goes up and down and then close down. So let me show how it works when when it's working. So let me close it back. 
see the sensor goes off and then the doors closes. And when you open up, let's see, see it turns on and now it should start to go off the alarm. So yeah, these two logic gates is for the sound and then there's a lot of stuff for the controllers and so on. Alright, so this is how it works from the inside and now let's get outside and I'll try to land the hover tank and don't promise I'll succeed but I'll try my best to land it on the top because actually it was kind of designed for this tank so it should fit no matter what and why the doors actually stuck it. I'm not really sure why this happens, it's happened to me only one time so yeah usually it should open up so let's turn on the hovering mode you can see the landing gear moves in and now you can just fly and as you can see the building is quite high for the for this tank so you just have to press forward to enable the flying mode and then you can fly on it and you can release it and it will start to hover and I miss it as you can see I miss it quite bad so let's try to turn around and let's try to land it this way it should actually also work yeah it was kind of lame landing but at least it landed so yeah let's get out actually you don't need to use doors no no let's close doors don't need to use doors because you just can simply jump on out so yeah here is the spider web for the tank and actually I won't even bother to explain how it works because it's really, really complicated there's so many logic gates there's sensors there's controllers there's thrusters there's everything and it's really really complicated and why oh these doors I wonder <laughs> why the controller is up here so yeah this uh, how tank will be on the steam workshop as well so you can download it this building will be on the steam workshop and this maybe I'll put this huge building as well all right let's get inside and I'll try to lower it and see how it looks from the inside for the last for the last time so let's close the doors I'm not sure why I keep opening and closing these doors so yeah let's close it and actually the sound is not going on and it's lowering it is too complicated for me <laughs> to make it and I couldn't really be bothered to make it work that way so yeah this is how it looks from the inside and actually it looks all good just that it's quite like a more greenish than the white color or bluish as you can see I tried to add this blue color but still looks really, really greenish so yeah this is my hover tank my sci-fi garage and this big building Actually, I plan to make series with the sci-fi, so if you are interested, leave a like or add some comments, so I know you are interested in this kind of series, and I'll try to build more sci-fi things. Actually, I plan to make, like, a roads up in the air, so and so on. Of course, more hovering stuff will come as well, so yeah. Leave a like if you want to see more sci-fi episodes, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!